Hello Year 9, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to your Key Stage 4 English courses. So when you begin in September, probably the biggest change for you will be that you will have two completely separate GCSEs. You will have English Language and English Literature. And these will be taught over eight hours per fortnight. So although it's two separate GCSEs, you will have the same English teacher teaching you both of these. Um, and one hour during year 10 will be dedicated to your English language GCSE. So you will do more as time goes on, but you will have definitely one dedicated language lesson. You will find that the skills do cross over though. So all the skills that you will use in literature, you use in language and vice versa. So you'll find that you feel quite confident in both of them very quickly. Now, as you can see, when you join us in September, you're going to begin focusing on essay writing and grammar and that will take place for two weeks and that will just build your confidence and remind you of what we expect. Over the course of year 10 you will study completely the entire um, English literature course. So we'll begin with the Christmas Carol and then we'll move on to Macbeth and finally in the last term we'll look at Lord of the Flies. And then throughout the whole of year 10, you will be studying the 15 poems that make up your Power and Conflict anthology. As you go through year 10, you will also have those language lessons, remember? And because the skills cross over, you'll realise very quickly as you study language that you can already answer most of these questions. You're already feeling quite confident with the skill set. Um, but you will notice in year 11, we have more of a focus on language. So year 10, much more focused on literature, so you can get the content, you can feel comfortable with it. And then in year 11, literature takes a back seat, it becomes more revision, uh, revision based, and then language will be the predominant um, course that we will follow, that we will look at. So the exam board for both of your language and literature GCSEs is AQA, so it's handy to just get on there, have a look around, um, get to grips with the exam papers and things like that. You will see that you've got two papers that you will sit for language. Paper one is called Explorations in Creative Reading and Writing, it's an hour and 45 minutes. Um, the first four questions of this are focused on reading, so you have an hour um, where you answer four reading questions and they build in terms of the skill set and difficulty. And then you will have 45 minutes to produce um, a writing response. Now paper one is focused solely on fiction writing. Paper two on the other hand, writers viewpoints and perspectives is a non-fiction paper so you will answer four questions um, on two extracts for paper two, you've only got one extract for paper one. Um, on two non-fiction extracts and then you will produce a piece of non-fiction writing in the 45 minutes for your writing question um, and that could be a speech, it could be a letter, could be an article um, so we will go through all of those sorts of um, all those forms in class. For your literature GCSE again as I've said it's AQA and paper one is focused on Shakespeare and the 19th century novel. So you will have 45 minutes to answer a question on Macbeth and then 45 minutes to answer a question on A Christmas Carol. And both of those questions will come with an extract. So there's no books in this exam. It is what we call a closed book exam. You can't take your books in with you, but you will be given for paper one an extract for both of those texts. Paper two is your modern texts and poetry. So you've got Lord of the Flies as your first question. And then you'll be asked to answer a question about one poem from your 15. And you'll be asked to compare that with another poem of your choice. So although you're studying 15 poems, you will only actually answer um, in your exam about two of them. And one of them will be named, it will be given to you. In addition, in your poetry section, you will be given uh, two questions on unseen poetry um, and you'll be given two poems that you've, you just won't have seen before. You, I mean, you might be lucky and you may have seen them, but it's what we term unseen poetry because the focus is very much on the skills. It does not matter that you don't know those poems and haven't seen them before. So throughout the year, we've got a few opportunities that will support your learning will just push you that little bit further. 
So in year 10, you'll have the opportunity to attend uh, the A Christmas Carol performance. It is fantastic. Um, everybody in the year group will be invited to that. And it is really, really cheap. It's a fantastic opportunity to get to see a performance firsthand. Um, we don't have to go all the way to the theatre. They come to us. So it really is an invaluable opportunity for you. In year 11, you have the same opportunity with Macbeth. And I cannot emphasise enough how important it is to see Macbeth performed. So that one is a real must. And again, it's open to everybody in the year. Um, the tickets are usually sort of five to seven pounds. So we keep that as, as cheap as we can just to cover the cost of the performance itself. And then also in year 11, we have a really fantastic opportunity. It's called Poetry Live. It's usually in London or Reading. Um, and we go across and you get to meet... Um, sorry, you get to you don't get to meet. It'd be amazing if you got to meet them. Um, you get to listen to um, a number of poets who you will have studied in your anthology. Um, they will talk to you about their poems. They'll advise you about um, certain aspects that they might want you to pick up on in your exam. You can ask them questions. You know, it, it really is great. Um, and the AQA examiners are usually there, and they will tell you what they expect in their um, in the responses to their exam questions they'll give you some support with the unseen poetry as well it is just fantastic but that is limited we usually limit that to about 80 students so we tend to invite students to this one so those students who have worked the hardest over um, year 10 and it is effort you know if you put in effort it doesn't matter if you're not amazing at English that's fine we just want you to try hard and if you try hard you will be invited to that um, but yeah that's year 11 so there are those three amazing opportunities we've got other things as well but they're the main ones um, that come to mind and then lots of people ask how can I prepare how best can I prepare well you've been preparing all the way through your schooling you know since nursery since um, key stage one you've been doing it all the way through but my advice would be over summer just read as much as you can and I don't necessarily mean reading novels or things like that I know some of you don't enjoy reading novels and that's okay but reading the newspaper keeping up with current affairs and things like that will really help you with your language GCSE Obviously, if you do like reading novels, fantastic. Read novels, read poetry, whatever you can, and that will really help with your literature. In addition, it would be fantastic if you could buy your own copy of A Christmas Carol and Lord of the Flies, simply because you will find as we work through these texts, you'll be wanting to make notes, you'll be wanting to annotate, and it is really, really great if you can annotate in your own texts and then you can take those home and it is a fantastic revision call, um, revision resource for you. Um, so if you can get hold of those, great. Usually on Amazon they're quite cheap. Um, but you might find second-hand copies, that's absolutely fine. It's just something that you can scribble your notes down in. So hopefully that has given you um, an okay overview of what to expect over the next two years. Obviously, if you, need, if you need any more support, if you want to know anything else, please contact your current year nine teacher or if you know who your teacher is for next year, just send them a, a message on Edulink. I'm sure they will be happy to get back to you. Um, but yes, have a great summer and we will see you in September.